Uh, today I'm going to go over uh, the topics that uh, that will be in quiz one and that is uh, level of measurement. So level of measurement So what is level of measurement? Level of measurement is simply a process to assign value to object. A process to assign value to an item or objects. For example, um, soccer game. Uh, what well, we do that we assign values to object to make our life easier. For example, soccer ball, um, soccer or, or, or football, there are 11 players. Uh, so each and every player assigned to a number. For example, Maradona used to be, uh, Maradona's uniform used to be number 10. So every single player assigned to a value. So a level of measurement is a process. To assign values to object to something. There are four. Number one is um, nominal. Number two is ordinal. Number three is interval. And number four is a ratio. Nominal is uh, is when it is impossible to rank although you assign values to something but it is not possible to rank the values for example uniform uniform a number number you see on the back of every single uniform of soccer player or any other player another example male and female, gender. Say, you say man, you assign one for man and women, women, you assign two for women. You can, you can do other way around. You cannot say one is better than two. This just to make our life easy. So nominal, you cannot rank. Forget about zero, zero is meaningful or not. You even cannot rank. That takes us to the ordinal. Uh, you can rank, yes. You can rank. You can rank. But still zero has no, uh, no, uh, no true meaning. Zero has no true meaning. No true meaning, no true value. Uh, please, uh, someone finish a race. You can rank them. For example, 100 meter, 100 meter man, Usain Bolt, uh, for example, end up being number one. Usain Bolt. Tyson Gay. Number three, for example, Blake. Usain Bolt is Jamaica. Tyson Gay is United States. And Blake is also Jamaica. You can rank them. That's why it is ordinal. You can rank them. But you cannot say that Usain Bolt is twice as better than Tyson Gay. Or you cannot say Tyson Gay is twice worse than Usain Bolt. You can rank them, but zero has no meaningful value. Number three, interval. Interval, you can rank them. Rank them, but zero has no meaningful value. No meaningful value. Especially uh, when we deal with the continuous, uh, there are two types of data. 
uh, discrete data and continuous. When we deal with the continuous data, we use the interval. For example, if I tell you, uh, if someone asks me what time it is, if I tell the time is 9.37, that would not be 100% correct. Because the time, I should say 9.36 uh, to 9.38. Because if I say 937, then by the time I finish uh, giving the information, telling the other person 937, that no longer be 937, that's something else. That's why this more precise way to uh, 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 communicate the information is using the interval. Okay, now for example, of uh, of the interval is temperature. Temperature, if you say the temperature is currently 40 degree Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius, that would not be 100% correct because it could be, it is continuous because it could be 39.13 Fahrenheit. Uh, to make our life easy, we often say uh, 39 degrees Celsius. So, uh, Celsius temperature. Well, it's tricky. If we use if we use the temperature as an example of interval, then we have to be careful because the Kelvin. There are two way of um, expressing the temperature. One is using the SI unit, which is Kelvin. One is uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Fahrenheit and Celsius is an example of ordinal because uh, if the zero has no meaningful value because for example 20 degree celsius and 40 degree celsius you cannot say that 40 degree celsius is twice as hot as 20 degree celsius you cannot say zero has no meaningful value what you can say is 40 degree celsius is 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 warmer than 20 degree celsius you can say that but you cannot say 40 degree is twice as hot as 20 degree celsius Kelvin, on the other hand, is an example of ratio, uh, which we'll talk about later, but let's talk about it. Because it has a, uh, zero has a meaningful value, because Kelvin, uh, Celsius is equal to, for example, uh, Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273. Kelvin uh, measures the absolute temperature. Zero degree Kelvin means nothing moves, not even a tiny, the kinetic energy, there is no kinetic energy at zero degree Kelvin. So Kelvin, so it has a, uh, it, um, it has a true value of zero. For example, 10 uh, Kelvin, uh, let's use the same thing, 20 Kelvin and 40 Kelvin. 40 Kelvin is twice as big as 20 Kelvin. 40 Kelvin is twice as warmer than 20 Kelvin. Okay, finally, it takes us to the ratio. So ratio, when you can rank, not only rank, but zero has a true value. For example, uh, length. For example, length. If something uh, is, um, if something is one meter, one meter, and something is two meter, then we can say that the two meter is twice, is twice as big as one meter. So zero has absolute, zero has a meaningful, a meaningful value. Now I'm gonna go over a few examples that you uh, may wanna take a look because those probably uh, in the quiz. Um, first one I'm gonna write is, Telephone number, number one, phone number. Uh, what type of uh, level of measurement should we use for phone number? Nominal. Why nominal? Because a phone number, you cannot say your phone number is better than my phone number. Or you cannot say that uh, Harry's phone number is better than Jerry's phone number. 
or social security number. You can you cannot say your social security number is better than Professor Barry's social security number. Social security number, you cannot rank a social security number. You cannot rank telephone number because the ranking will not have a meaningful. You cannot just rank them because uh, the other example I gave you the uniform, uniform number, the jersey number. Uh, no meaningful value. That's why you cannot rank them. Why you cannot rank them? No meaningful value. Number two, for example, number two, for example, math, uh, your, um, your score, your score in fast quiz, fast quiz of math 23. That's ratio. Why that's ratio? That's ratio. Because Jack probably got 40 in the quiz and Jan got 20 in the quiz. So we can say that Jack got twice, twice, or Jack is in ability, Jack, Jack, Jack has, or we can say Jack got twice as Jan. We can use that language. We can say, Jack is scored twice than the Jan. So when that means zero has a true value. Temperature. Temps. Temperature. I'm gonna divide it in two parts. Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Celsius and Fahrenheit, they are example of interval. And Kelvin, when you measure temperature using Kelvin, then it is ratio. Because you can order them. You can order them. For example, 20 degree Celsius and 40 degree Celsius. You can say that 40 degree Celsius is warmer than 20 degree Celsius. However, you cannot say 40 degree Celsius is twice warmer than 20 degree Celsius. This one you can write 20 Kelvin and 40 Kelvin. You can say 40 Kelvin is warmer than 20 Kelvin. But you also can say 40 Kelvin is twice as warm as 20 Kelvin. So zero has a meaningful value. Motion, picture, cutting for example, that's ordinal. That's ordinal, you can rank them. Ordinal. You can rank them and rank has some values. Rank has some values, but still zero has no values. That's why it is ordinal. Average monthly precipitation precipitation in inches. So this is also ratio uh, because zero has a true or meaningful value. So zero has a meaningful value. This is. This is why this is ratio. Average monthly temperature. Average monthly temperature um, in uh, in Celsius uh, cannot be should not be uh, should not be uh, nominal because you can rank it. Should not be ordinal uh, because uh, this is not discrete should not be a ratio because this is Celsius. So what is left? Interval. So this is interval. Once again, phone number. Phone number cannot be ratio because you cannot rank them. Your phone number is not better than my phone number. It's not ordinal because you cannot rank them. It's not interval because you cannot rank them so it has to be nominal your score in math 23 that is not nominal because you can rank them that is not ordinal because rank has true true zero value it's not 
interval because the number is discrete I'll probably give you either 10 20 30 is discrete number is it a ratio yes it is ratio it's ratio because as I said that if Jack got 20 and Jan got 40 you can say Jan is twice smarter than Jack temperature if it is Celsius Fahrenheit then it is interval if it is Kelvin then it is ratio motion picture rating is ordinal because you can rank them and finally average monthly precipitation in inches of course ratio and average monthly temperature if it is Celsius then of course it is uh, interval so the topic for the quiz one is level of measurement and uh, so this is what you need to know